In 1994, Julian and Nick Gollop developed UFO Enemy Unknown, and almost immediately after Microprose snapped it up and beamed it onto the shelves of video game stores, it became a worldwide phenomenon, paving the way for a new wave of turn-based strategy titles. Since then, we've seen a slew of wannabe titles desperately trying to relive the atmosphere and micromanagement of the original, yet none have managed to come close. Enter Firaxis, celebrated globally for their ability to develop and produce some of the greatest strategy games of any generation, and who have recently taken on the role of modernising and reimagining the original Enemy Unknown game, and are sticking close to the original. As with the original game, which missions you embark on will depend entirely on the reach of your radar, as well as the speed of your crafts at your disposal, and the airborne enemy incursions will result in the face-off of your enemy. We already know that the sectoids make a welcome return, and for the most part are identical to those in the predecessor. They still have the psionic abilities, although lead designer Jack Solomon has said that any XCOM squad member of panic attacks will not result in the utter devastation familiar to anyone playing the original, where one panicked unit within a confined area could easily take the entire squad out and remain unplayable for several turns. If injecting the mutons with the latest serum from Laboratoire Gruntier wasn't enough, Firaxis have taken the cyber discs one step further by not only making them virtually indestructible in their disc form, but by introducing a shape-shifting feature where the disc has to open up to enter attack mode and takes on a spider-like appearance. As with the 1994 release, Firaxis have opted for the procedurally generated missions and terraform to ensure that not only are no two missions the same, but repeated playthroughs will also be like playing the game for the first time. Firaxis are retaining as much of the functionality as possible, and the familiar territories of research and development are still catered for, representing an important aspect of the ongoing growth of the base and squad. Squad handling has undergone what can only be described as a complete restructure, and this, if anything, could be what turns fans of the original off. The time units have been removed. Veraxis have taken an entirely fresh look at this by introducing what they've called Double Move, whereby your unit will have unlimited time to explore the map, but only one opportunity to move to attack mode, so as soon as your shots are fired, that particular unit's move is considered over. With the time units being taken away by one hand, the player has been given an intriguing gift with the other. Perks. At the end of each mission, as with the original, soldiers will have their stats increased and may indeed rank up to the next level, and it's at this point that certain units will have the option of selecting a specific perk along with their level up. These bonuses are only available if the mission was a success, so losing any squad members in the field will still allow the levels to increase, but will avoid any chance of gaining a bonus. A great twist, considering how difficult it can be to clear an area with no casualties. Instead of being able to build multiple bases, Firaxis have made the decision that the game centres around only one base to present the player with a more strategic approach to defending the Council of Funding Nations, rather than being able to pepper a myriad of bases across the globe. So, where does this leave us? In truth, in a much better position than first expected. While there are signs of streamlining, we also have the introduction of such features as level up perks, resource gathering, and diplomatic relations, all serving to enhance the micromanagement that was so important to the gameplay of the original. If Araxis can keep on track with their plans and adhere to what made Microprose's groundbreaking title so great, then we may just have another modern classic on our hands. Next stop, Cydonia. Gaming Lives. We won't probe you. Don't worry.